there's only one thing better than cheap books, and that's free books. Come along with me today as I check out some free little libraries. Hi, my name's B. Welcome to my channel. Mama needs to read some romance and hunt for some free books. I've been wanting to do this type of video for a very long time. I love free little libraries. I've had great success in the past. I started my channel at the very end of May and I could have done a free little library book hunt video in June, July, August, September, October. But no, I've chosen November and it's 43 degrees and it's cold, but we are doing this today. I forgot to mention that I have a bunch of books. I've decided to put in the free little library. So I'm gonna be putting some books in and hopefully taking some out. Let's see what we find at the first one. This one looks like a barn. How cute. I love how they're all different. And here are the books that I brought. Two kids books, two grown up books. I figured it would be a nice mix. I don't know what I'll find here. Well, didn't expect cans of soup, but you know, I guess <laughs> somebody was gonna donate something and just decided to do it here. me there. Oh, Men in Kilts. This looks fun. Oh, there's a Jude Devereaux. Little house in the big woods. <gasps> okay, so this looks fun. Men in Kilts. Katie McAllister. Looking at the Goodreads rating. 3.71. Not too shabby. I think we'll give it a whirl. And then, holy cow, Lindsay Sands, Immortal Rising. Oh, man. Looking at my, my scanning here, it's 4.41. That is excellent. So here we go. I love to scan with the Goodreads app. It really helps me pick good books. Oh, there's a Nora Roberts. Don't know that I need that right now. To Kill a Mockingbird, there's a classic. Here I will put in my Nicholas Sparks. It's a little too heavy for me right now, The Longest Ride. And to Sir Philip with Love from Julia Quinn, I got the step back of that. So I didn't need a second copy. Looking at some of the kids' books. Oh, Biscuit. We love Biscuit. Paw Patrol. There's some good stuff in here. Arthur. Peppa Pig. Oh, we have not gotten into Captain Underpants. <laughs> oh, How to Catch a Snowman. This looks adorable. Oh, we'll use that in January. That'll be great. Okay, let's take another peek here. Not that the kids don't already have plenty of books. Oh, we have the Black Lagoon series. Oh, gingerbread mouse. Oh, even my nine-year-old is still obsessed with gingerbread. So we're gonna have to go with that. And then I will donate to Magic Treehouse that I accidentally got two copies of at a used library sale. <laughs> so this worked out great. Well, I thought that was super successful as a first try. Holy cow, I wasn't sure if I was gonna find anything. Now on to the next. So this one is based on Charlotte's Web, which obviously is this person's favorite book. I love this. This is so cute. With the right words, you can change the world. Oh, we still have Halloween out. And here are the two books I might donate. I've got a Lisa Kleypas step back of this version, and then I've got Dark Highlander. I had two of those by accident, so I'll donate those today, hopefully. Danielle Steele, Sab oh, Sabrina Jeffries. Ooh, this looks fun. And the rating is on Goodreads 3.84. Pretty good. I'm going to grab that. Ooh, Van Helsing. That would be good for October. Hmm. Oh, the little prince. We have that at home in English and French. And that was my husband's and my second date was seeing that play. It was really cool. Let's see. What else do we have here? Hmm, kids books, some good looking chapter books. This is really challenging, I'm realizing, to film. Oh wait, what's this, Lisa Jackson? See how she dies, no. <laughs> Not really wanting to see how she dies, no thank you. Pretty good joke book, no, no, none of these are really fitting the bill here. They look like good books, but not quite what I'm looking for. Filming the back row is really challenging. The camera doesn't know where it wants to focus. So this is, this is gonna be challenging. I'm gonna have to learn. All right, so I'm donating my Dark Highlander. Sabrina Jeffries, are you serious? This is so awesome, I'm so excited. But it's still really cold, so you know what we need to do? We need to go to Starbucks. 
get a little happiness and the holiday cups are out. So no matter what I get, it's gonna be in a holiday cup. <laughs> and I couldn't do it on camera. How do people do that? I see people do that all the time on YouTube and I would just be so nervous. I couldn't even take a picture of the menu because I know they have a camera and they'd be watching me and they're like, what is she doing? Anyway, I'm a bad YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what I got. Peppermint mocha in a holiday cup. Okay, so we have a fall pumpkin. <laughs> And then a Christmas or holiday cup. So fun and yet so confusing. But it is that time of year. I still see some Halloween decorations, lots of Thanksgiving, but then Christmas is also starting to pop up. My husband cannot even wait. He loves to decorate and he's already been trying to get at it. And I was like, wait, just wait. Anyway, this is a peppermint mocha. First one of the year. Very excited. Let's see what it's like. Mmm chocolatey it's like a little hug in a cup nice and warm smooth delicious all right with this as our fluffy fun beverage we can now continue our fluffy fun search of wonderful romance books let's try another free little library So this one is understated. It's kind of woodsy. I like it. And I've got two books that I have step back copies of now, so I'm gonna try to donate those. Let's see what we find. Oh, Harry Potter, Hunger Games. What to expect when no one's expecting. That's creative. A Man Called Ove. I saw that like 10 times at the used bookstore the other day. <laughs> Thousand Baby Names. Yeah, so this one's gonna be, no. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. This is a great place for a free little library. They've got picnic tables everywhere. This is by the pool, which of course is closed right now. I got my two books again, and let's see if this time I'm going to do. Wow, this, is, this goes down. That's different. Okay, oh, okay. I need to talk about Fear Street Super Chiller Silent Night by R.L. Stein. I owned that when I was 12. I was obsessed with him in that series. <laughs> I collected him like I collect romance novels. Okay, I'm totally taking it. Taking it. I'm excited. Oh, Sophie Kinsella. Is that how you say her name? I've never read her, and I'm sure she's good. Anybody read her? Let me know. And tell me how to pronounce her name. Madeline Leangle, Many Waters. There's another author I was obsessed with. I loved Many Waters. That was a really good book. Here we go again, having difficulty with the second row. I've got to figure out how to film better, but it's challenging. Three Cups of Tea. I've heard a lot about that book. And then Sweet Valley High. Oh my gosh, this is really taking me back. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Let me just see. Let's take a look at one of these. Who read Sweet Valley High? Please tell me in the comments if you did. Oh my gosh. I was so, and Sweet Valley Twins, I was so serious about those series. Oh wow. Oh cool. Oh man, here's a, here's a romance novel, but it looks a bit the worse for wear. Yeah, we're just not gonna check that out. No, thank you. But, oh look, hey, Hannah Howell and Lindsay Sands, the Eternal Highlander. Oh yes, I'm all about it. I can't get over how successful this has been so far. This is crazy. Before too long, I gotta go pick up my gal at school. So time is running short.
it's going to rain soon and I have two books that I would like to get rid of. So I have two more places that I want to hit. This one, it's not that I don't want it, it's just so big and I know I can get a smaller copy because I've seen it elsewhere. Same thing with this one. Okay, another understated. It's white, but with a fun door. And this man is jam-packed. Wah! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Books are literally falling out of it. Okay, let's see. This is looking for Mr. Goodbar, Janet Ivanovich. Wow, and I'm so sorry. And The Help, a lot of big names. Goosebumps, there's more R.L. Stein. I see Magic Treehouse. We own that one. This is really challenging, guys. I'm sorry. There's so many books jammed in here. And I'm trying to hold things. The Jane Austen Book Club. I think I actually own that already. I'm really curious. Have you seen the movie or read the book? Let me know. I'm very curious. And then Jade, Nora Roberts and J.D. Robb. Holy cow! I definitely want to nab this. Can you tell how dark it's getting right now? It's gonna rain any second. And I just traded a giant honkin' book for a giant honkin' book, but you saw the Goodreads ratings. You know this is really good, and it's two powerhouses. So, really eager to find out more about this. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> we have Halloween right next to Christmas. Let's see if we wind up donating this time. Last one, guys. Okay, let's take a peek. The Blue Zones Challenge. I have always been interested in that. Talking about the areas of the world where people live the longest. I really am excited to try this. Wow, okay, neat. Oh, Cokie Roberts, I like her. Cindy Ella, that sounds cute. Oh, and there's three cups of tea again. <laughs> Seeing that one a lot today. Cindy Ella. 3.69, I'm curious about it. I'm gonna nab it and see what happens. And then, oh, no! Karen Marie Moaning Kiss of the Highlander. Oh, I like that cover too. It got a 4.3, it's Highlander number four. I don't have this one, yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited. What else do we have up here? Let's see, I'm gonna definitely pop this in because I just took two books. So now I definitely need to give at least one. <laughs> So let's see, what else do we have? Top shelf, sorry for the shakiness, this is tricky. Let's see, I looked at the Linda Howard one the last time I was here, it's been there a long time. Nobody's taken it, because it's a low rating. There's the help again, second time we've seen this. And then, let's see, what else do we have? The second row, so tricky. What else? Hmm, okay. Okay, thanks for hanging in with me, guys. I'm gonna figure this out. Romeo and Juliet board book? How does this end? Oh, it's just numbers and 10 kisses parting is such sweet sorrow. Okay, that's not too bad. I was kind of wondering, seven math lab, yeah, I was, <laughs> who's the audience for that, I wonder? <laughs> Okay, so that was insanely successful. I had a blast. We got it in just before the rain started. I owe that last free little library two books, but do not worry, I will get those books to them. I'm sure I have something. <laughs> this looks super cute. Uh, it's about a gal who is in high school and she writes a letter in her school newspaper about how much she hates prom and it makes her sort of a pariah, but it does endear her to several of her good friends and also maybe the guy of her dreams. So it looks like a lot of fun. Are you aware that Nora Roberts and JD Robb is one person? It's the same person. I did not know this. I was looking at the pictures. I'm like, she looks very similar. Oh my gosh, it's the same person! So apparently she's putting her two personalities together to make a suspenseful romance, and it does quite well, so I'm very curious. Well, this looks really cool. This lady right here is pretending to be a princess. It's like she's a spy and she's trying to uncover something. Unfortunately, this gentleman has met her before and knows that she is an imposter. It looks like it's a lot of fun. This looks cute and really funny. She's a writer who is in present day England. She's an American and she feels like it's going well despite the fact that she fell asleep during the conference. And then she winds up seducing. That's probably a strong word because she seems kind of flaky. <laughs> 
she ends up with this scottish guy and she's going to his sheep farm to meet his sons and she's very impressed with the thick as they said everything about him it looks funny and fun so i'm gonna give this a shot this looks fun and intense our heroine was turned against her will into a vampire in her teenage years and our hero was actually the results of a scientific experiment so he's not exactly immortal but he's not mortal in any case, the two of them are dealing with their demons and their past traumas. They wind up falling in love, but now the scientist who turned him is after her. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. And this is one of the bajillion of the Arjuneau novels. I'm going to put what number on the bottom right here. And in this book, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> This was so much fun. I'm looking forward to doing this again sometime when it's not raining and freezing. It'll be very fun. Thanks for hanging out with me this long. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying whatever it is that you're reading, whether you grabbed it at a free little library or not. Until next time, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.